from today we are going to start sql which means structured query language structured query language why is it called as structured query language why is it called as structured query language because it is going to store the structured format of data structured format of data it means data will be stored in on proper structure which is in tabular format which is nothing but of table format tabular format first let us discuss about this tabular format because this is the basic even if you have idea on excel sheet you will be known how data will be stored in table format. What does this table contains? What does this table contains? Get yeah, data. How, how, it, how is it arranged? It will be arranged in rows and columns. In table or format, data will be arranged in rows and columns. Data will be arranged in rows and columns. Let us take a sample table. Let us take a sample table, which is called student table, where I am storing student details. Here I have columns called student ID name is and gender these are the columns that i have let us consider i have four students their student ids are one two three and four names ram sana john and peter Some random maze. Okay, this is my student table. It is arranged in one structured format. Are you able to understand this table? This data is arranged in structured format in rows and columns. Are you able to understand this data? If you want RAM details, what will be his details? What is? Yeah. RAM student ID is one, age is 21, and gender is male. You are able to get all the details, right? For of each and every person. You are able to understand the structure of the table. Now, what is row and what is column? What is row and what is column? Yeah, column is a field. And if you want to fetch the details, all the details of one particular person, it is called a row. This particular thing, which is vertical, is called column. For example, gender is a column. In technical, technical terminology, we will call it as attribute. Attribute. attribute and also we will call it as field column is a place where we will store the data of one similar particular data type column is a place where we will store similar data of one particular data type all this data is of text data type. in this gender column i am using only text data type i am not using any numbers for example, the, for one person, I am not giving gender as one, two, three, or any other number. I am giving only male and female, which is text. I am giving similar values. Column is a place where we will store similar values of one particular data type. Here in gender column, even if I give name, it will take, because name is also text, right? Name is also text. But we have to give similar values, related values. 
there should be relativity in name column if we give gender it will take instead of ram if i give male it will take because both are text data types but we have to give similar values we have to give similar or specified values related values what is row row is also called as a record in technical terminology we will call it as instance this technical terminology will be useful for you in any exams if you are attending for any exams they will be asking you as attribute and instance they will not mention as row and column to confuse you they will ask you as attribute and instance instance row will store all the details of one part one row will store all the details of one particular person one row will store all the details of one particular person these are four rows we have four rows of values if you go to row one it will store all the details of ram if you go to row two all the details of sana row three all the details of john row four all the details of peter if you go row wise it will store all the details of one particular person this is called a row if you want only specified field you have to go column wise if you want all the details of specified person you have to go row wise this is called tabular format arrangement of data in rows and column is called tabular format this is structured format of data okay 